Okay, good morning. Oops. Good morning. Um, so again, my name is Flora. I'm the chairperson of the Deacon Board for this year. And uh, thank you for the time for me to share with you uh, our plans for the church as a whole as the pandemic um, you know, start to reduce to a smaller uh, level. So, um, well, last time we have a full pack of uh, worship is about a year ago, actually. That was uh, March of 2020 that we decided that we no longer have the, uh, you know, in-person gathering and until we start to uh, partially open up back in July. But anyways, let's look at what the pandemic is doing right now. Those are the two graphs from the um, uh, VDH, uh, Virginia Department of Health, and one for Virginia as a whole, and the, the right gra graph is for Henrico County. Yeah, it's hard to see the numbers there, but uh, we can see the trend that uh, the case are reducing uh, great, uh, to a much smaller level compared with the peak time. As more vaccination is administrated, we can hope we can hope that uh, the pandemic eventually going to become something that um, we don't have to really worry about all the time. So we can come back, bring back some normalcy to our lives. Um, now, let's look at what our church's stats looks like. So as I said, we partially opened the church or on-site worship back in July of last year. And the Chinese side also opened the adult, uh, adult Sunday school class uh, in fall. Um, we have, as I counted last week, uh, between the English and Chinese congregations, about 70 to 80 people come to the church to worship God. Praise the Lord, we have uh, more actually today, at least I see in the Chinese side. So praise the Lord, we see the trend is going up. And um, a rough kind of like a calculation of the dem uh, demographics, uh, we have the senior with us from the very beginning. We have Pastor Moon and uh, Mrs. Moon with us from day one we open. And we have children, lovely children with us too. So we actually have a full range of different age of people come to join us on the on-site worship starting of July of last year. And among the nine months of opening church for on-site gathering, there's not one single, um, you know, COVID cases among the regular attendees. So praise the Lord for that. I think in addition to praise our Lord for protections, also brothers and sisters who come in here also followed our safety measures pr protocols very strictly. That's a big help. Wearing masks all the time, keeping social, social distances, uh, wash your hands frequently, and uh, if you have symptoms, don't come in. If you're coming from traveling, uh, quarantine yourself before you join back uh, to the church. So following those simple um, protocols actually is very effective. As been seen from the you know no case for the last nine months, and uh, we would um, as we expect more and more brothers and sisters come back to the church for on-site in-person worship. We would uh, ask uh, brothers and sisters all keep following the protocols we set out for everybody to follow for for because um, that's the key to the success of our reopening. Okay, now. As we expect the pandemic to be reduced to more of epidemic or even more moderate form of, uh, uh, you know, uh, diseases, we, what we do as a, as a church, what's our plans? So this is a for Sunday, um, various ministries. The worship, we're going to continue offering in person and um, online, which is streaming, YouTube streaming services. So you can come in and you can continue to uh, join the worship online. 
And we are also preparing, the worship departments, preparing to welcome more brothers and sisters back to our church for in-person worship. Children, which is a big part of our Sunday ministry, um, they have, we have actually most of the English congregation have opened a soft launch of children program, uh, the nursery and uh, uh, first graders class uh, in March. So starting April, uh, well, next week we're going to have a special program for children. You just, you know, uh, Pastor Carter just announced. So we're going to have an egg hunt for children for next week. But the second Sunday uh, of April, starting that day, we're going to have the um, nursery and first graders open to the whole church. May, we're going to have nursery through uh, third grade open to the whole church. And in June, we hope that the children of all ages can come to the church and uh, have classes for them. For the youth, we're going to determine the form and the timelines for the youth classes on Sundays uh, in April, and we'll update you when we have those uh, decisions. And the uh, Chinese Adult Sunday School, we're going to have two classes in May, and we're going to continue offering on-site and online services. Now, with all those plans put in together, what each one of us can do to help? Well, I also remember the First Corinthians says, uh, 13 it says, and now those three remains, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. So first and foremost, love each other. Keep continuing, continuing praying for everybody, for the brothers and sisters, for their health, for their safety. Encourage everybody. If you see somebody that needs some encouragement, encourage them. And be faithful. If you are, uh, you are uh, your, your physical condition is allowed or, you know, everything is, you feel comfortable, come to the church. Uh, join us in person sh worship. If you can't, stay, you have to stay home, that's fine. That's uh, absolutely great. Okay. And just remember to join the online worship as well. Be hopeful that we'll, have, we'll soon have the church full of, you know, all our brothers and sisters, and get involved. If you see something that you are in the church for in-person worship, you see something, you have comments, you have suggestions, um, tell the, you know, the, the deacons of in charge. Um, so make sure that we also pray for all the co-workers that makes the Sunday in-person worship possible, the gathering possible. And if you do have any comments, question, you know, questions, suggestions, who to contact? Well, contact your uh, fellowship leaders, co-workers, contact our deacons, contact the elders, contact pastors. And the various ministries on Sundays are for the worship department for Chinese is Jesse. And for children department, uh, Chigang, for English or youth, is Jordan, and for Chinese adult edu education, David, and for general affairs, Yongguang. Those are the specific various um, ministries on Sunday that you can contact if you have any uh, questions or uh, suggestions. So um, that's the plan for currently. And as you can see that the pandemic changes at the, as we evaluate the situation of further reopening of the church, we will make changes, so be patient and be flexible and pray for everybody involved. We, I hope that the day we have a full house of worship, worshipers in this, in this sanctuary coming soon, very soon. And thank you, and God bless you.